Quantum Interface is developing predictive interface software for AR and VR applications. Jonathan Josephson is trying to develop a foundation for the way we interact with augmented reality and virtual reality devices. This is going to be the greatest design revolution we've had since the days of the mouse. Josephson is the founder and chief technology officer of Quantum Interface, a software and design company in Austin, Texas, that is developing predictive interface software, which allows users to search through menus on their devices with only one continuous motion. Now we can begin to put our content in a three-dimensional array in augmented reality and move once towards where we want to go. That doesn't exist now in our interfaces. According to Josephson, the touch and touchless prototypes are based on three design principles. It's a change of angle simultaneously selects and controls the attribute. It's a continuous motion. Then we use it where inside of a sensor field, wherever the user begins to interact, that becomes the point of origin. So it's a relative motion with changes of angle, speed, and acceleration. And then we begin to draw a vector so we can predict what it is that the user would like to interact with. This is the biggest change for designers. If they design differently, they can use different interfaces that are much more natural. But how do we know if the system is actually natural and easy to use? Josephson says that it has to do with the way our brain works. We actually are using the fastest part of the brain and a part that the brain can learn the easiest. So when somebody tries out our interfaces, it takes about five seconds to learn instead of 20 seconds to learn. The button-based system where I have to remember where those buttons are and then touch and release requires a higher cognitive load to recognize where those are. QI Launch Mobile for Android smartphones and tablets and QI Launch Wear for Android smartwatches is currently in private beta testing. Like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter.